All right, so I know that my last video was a haul video, but that was all one brand. Today I wanna do a haul video of pretty much all the makeup I have purchased since my last haul, which I have no idea when that was. Um, I did do like a haul and try on like back in April. And at that time I had purchased a lot of these products, but I had it in my mind that I didn't wanna do just like straight up haul videos because I kind of feel like you don't learn much about the products in those videos. Um, but here I am <laughs> showing you the stuff I got. So my plan is to do actual videos coming up talking about these products and trying them out. And um, I just kind of want to show you what I got, mostly because I am not organized enough at this point to get back into doing videos like I had before, like planned out videos. And I had all of this stuff sitting here anyway. Um, so I'm just going to show it to you. If you didn't watch my Style Vana video, I've been gone for a while because I had army and my husband was deployed for a year and he also just uh, got back. And so I've just been really busy dealing with my army and him coming back and just getting readjusted. Um, but yeah, here we are with all the stuff. So the first thing I wanna talk about is I kept getting Facebook ads for Laura Mercier. And they had kind of fallen off my radar, but I have like a ton of like favorite Laura Mercier products. But the one thing that I actually really wanted from them was this bronzer brush. And mostly because I've just been looking for a really good bronzer brush, not because I heard anything good about this one. So I used this one for the first time today and I actually really like it. Like I like how it just kind of flows on the skin. Um, and I think it's a great uh, bronzer brush. This is actually called just the bronzer brush. So I picked this up. I'm very pleased with it. Um, and almost every single brush that I own is dirty right now. Um, I've just been busy and I've been like grabbing brushes and putting them in my travel bag and traveling with them and dirtying them up and coming home and swapping out my brushes. I have like two baskets of dirty brushes plus a cup holder plus like well, this is kind of heavy. Am I gonna lift this up just to show you dirty brushes? Yes, I am. Plus this thing, all dirty brushes. So I'll probably be doing that in the next couple of days. Um, but anyway, so I was excited to get that brush. So then I did a video, which I will have linked right here on talking about all of the Jones Road products um, at the time. I, I spent quite a bit of money on Jones Road products and right after I put that video up, they came out with the what the foundation. And I was gonna do a video on this. I bought it around the time that, oh my gosh, I don't even know her name. The girl that's on TikTok that slathered it all over her face did hers. I mean, I am the foundation queen, so. I'm not sure what to make of this consistency. My hands can't, um. And I might do a full video on this talking about it, um, but I feel like everybody has talked about it at this point. Um, and I did actually film a video and I never put it up on this, but my main things that I just wanna touch on really quickly is I don't like the packaging because it's messy. Also, it separates and you have to mix it every time. And, um, it's it's just kind of nasty to handle and to deal with. Like if all those oils have like seeped into the lid, even with this cover on, it's just filthy, it's nasty. Um, so I wish that there was a different kind of mechanism for this to come out, maybe a squeezy tube or something um, to where like you could kind of like shake it and then like just squeeze it out because that's an absolute mess. I also wanna talk about the fact that they had a really kind of smart marketing um, thing with this. And a lot of brands I've noticed since I've been purchasing have been doing the same thing, where if you purchase from them, they give you so many days after getting the product to try it out and make a TikTok on it. And then they pay you, I don't know if they like pay you money money or they give you um, like store credit for like every 
like like or comment or something you get like you get a dollar or something on your TikToks. So um I'm not sure how I feel about that, <laughs> but that's a thing. Oh, but back to the whole Laura Mercier thing. I just kind of glossed over it. The brush is not the only thing I got. So they had a deal going. If you purchase so much on their site, you get like a red makeup bag and I think like, uh, like a mini caviar stick and a mini lipstick, right? The makeup bag looked a little bit larger than this. Um, but it's a nice little makeup bag. This is like the perfect size to like put your makeup in your person. But I will show you everything I picked up. Um, I got this, which is their tinted moisturizer blush. And I got this one in the shade Southbound. I already had one, which I guess I don't think I've held it since I've been here. Is it? I have my drawers covered up where I can't see. Oh, here it is. I already have this one in sun drenched and I'm still not sure how I feel about the color. So I wanted to try this one in southbound, which I thought might be a better fit. Maybe I could mix them. Um, and I don't even know why I got this one aside from the fact that I'm like, well, maybe I'll give it a second chance because this one was kind of blotchy when I applied it. I wasn't crazy about it. Um, but I am going to try them both out, like maybe with some different foundations, different, um, sorts of application techniques and just kind of see how they work. I got two caviar sticks as well. I got the shade Sugar Frost, which is right here. I've kind of been on a hunt for something to just kind of give me like that wet lid kind of look. And almost everything I get, like when you see it swatched online, it looks like that wet lid kind of effect and then you get it and it's glitter. Um, and this one isn't too bad, so I'm hoping that works out, but I don't want my lid to look super glittery. Um, and then I also picked up, oh, this is not an eyeshadow stick. This is the Secret Camouflage in um, 2N. So. I like the secret camouflage that comes in like the the compact and there's two shades because I use a brush and I do my spot concealing with it but I just kind of wanted to get this and compare maybe this would be a good one to throw in my bag um, so I don't know if the formula is the same or what the deal is this actually from like swiping it on my hand just now seems a little bit creamier than the one in uh, the compact but I did want to um, try that out. But I did get a little sample caviar stick with the red bag. And this is the shade On Naturel. And I used to actually have this shade in one of the other sort of matte shades that they have. And they came in like the same sort of like packaging like this, only it was like matte. And the lids cracked on them and they dried out. Um, so I'm glad that they've switched over back to the glossy packaging that they typically also have for like the shiny ones um, because those the plastic on the matte ones like was not good. Um, and then they gave me like a little mini lipstick in Rouge Essential. And I don't know if this color is for me. So I'll think about it. I don't want to swatch it until I like know for sure, but probably not. I think I'll just toss that in my stuff that I give to friends. Okay, so I have never tried anything from M Cosmetics, and I've seen a couple of videos recently, people showing different items, and I thought that this is probably the best time to try them out. And I got this eyeshadow in Moonrise, again, for the whole wet look situation. But again, like once looking at the container, it looks like glitter. I'm not sure this is going to be it for me. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I just swatched it right here. That looks pretty good. It's that one right there. All right, and then I also picked up a blush from M Cosmetics in the shade Baroque. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is like really light, uh, which I think I'll love in the winter. And this might also work as just kind of like an enhancer, like over a blush. I don't know. I think this is definitely going to be more of a winter shade. Probably should not apply blush right now, but I'm going to. 
yeah, it's like kind of almost like a subtle highlight enhancer shade. It looks pretty on the skin though. Um, the texture or like the level of sheen reminds me of the Laura Mercier Baked Highlight in 01. It was like a barely there kind of highlight. Um, so I like this. This will probably be a good winter blush for me. And then I did get an eyeshadow palette. Um, and this is the shade Divine Skies. And I really like how compact this compact is. And then there it is. So very pretty shades, but they kind of remind me of the eyeshadow palette like the kind of same color story almost of the eyeshadow palette that I got from Stylevana, the Clio or Clio. I still don't know how. Like very similar color story here. Um, so again, I'll play around and see what I think. And there's a theme here <laughs> to where almost every single product that I pull out, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of. And I think that might be a hint for me to stop buying stuff for a while. I did get a NARS eyeshadow palette. We'll just kind of stick with the eyeshadow palettes for a second. I got a NARS eyeshadow palette. I got this at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I missed this when it first came out. And this is the Summer Solstice. So this was probably from like last summer. And again, I saw like all those topper shades in it. And I don't know why I want this wet look eyeshadow situation so badly, but it's like a cute little palette. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. Let me swatch some of those like wet looking shades I was wanting. Yeah, so they're glittery, but they're pretty. All right, and then I picked this up from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their new eyeshadow palette. I've never tried any of her eyeshadows. Um, I've tried like the blushes and I've tried the brow products and things like that, but I've never actually tried the shadows. So I got this. And the color story reminded me so much when I saw them like all swatched out even on the Sephora website. It reminded me so much of the swatches I did of my Beauty Pie cream eyeshadow sticks, which I'll have like those swatches here on the screen. Sephora swatches, but it's almost like they made an, a powder eyeshadow palette to coincide with all of the colors of um, the Beauty Pie shadow sticks. So the only one that's kind of like a standout that, that's not in the shadow stick is this peacock color right here. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with the cosmetic company store or it's also called the CCO, I think because it was called Outlet for a while whichever. Anyway, they have this thing where you can set up and you can get texts from them and they bundle up products um, at a discounted rate. And sometimes they show you everything that's in the bundle and then sometimes um, it's just the silhouette of the item in the bundle. And typically I don't really buy these bundles, um, but when they have the silhouettes, that's usually something that, I don't know if they just don't want to advertise it cheaper since it is a much higher end item um, or what the deal is, but they just show you the silhouette of it. And I knew in the first one that they did from the silhouette, which I'll just show you, that it was La Mer. So I have the mini here and then also like a big full size of La Mer. And I love this face cream and it's super, super expensive. So um, I went ahead and you just text them when they show it to you and tell them like how many like you want. So there was that bundle and I got that. And then there was a bundle the other day that popped up and I could tell that the compact in it was a Tom Ford compact. Um, so I went ahead and said that I wanted that. So I got this Tom Ford compact in Honeymoon and I'm thankful that the color story is actually something I will wear, especially these top two shades. Um, and they're beautiful. I have used it, I think, like once or twice now. And um, it's a good palette to have if you have already have 
um, this palette, which is Nude Dip. So Nude Dip leans a little bit cool for me. And honestly, this lean, oops, this one leans really warm for me. So I like having them both so I can kind of mix the shades and the tones together. And I got this along with some other products for a really good deal. Honestly, I wasn't even that interested in the other products, um, but I did um, just go ahead and shove them again in the box of stuff that I usually give to friends. So it really worked out. And I think um, these palettes retail for like 80 something, I think. And I paid 65 for the palette and like several other things. So usually every season I like to see what Dior comes out with as far as their quince. The Dior quince just have a really soft spot in my heart. I love them and I probably should do a video just showing you all of the Dior quince I have. I'm sure I don't have more than like say like these like larger like creators or collectors and things like that but I have a decent amount. So um, I picked this one up for summer and I think it's called Baya Dior. I have no idea. I'm wearing this on my eyes right now, mixed with a little bit of the taupey shade from the new dip palette. Because again, if something is a little too warm on my face, a little too orange, I like to come in with that taupe over it and just tie everything together. So that's what I have on right now. And then I also got this one called Organza, which is like a really nice sort of pink and gold and taupe sort of palette. I got that one. And then I bought a few more. I accidentally bought doubles of Wild Raffia. So I don't know which one's the one I already opened. So I'm gonna end up having to like open both of them and take a look and see which one I haven't already touched. Cause I think I'm gonna put it to the side for like a future giveaway situation. So let me look at this one and see if I've touched anything. No, I haven't touched this one. So I'm gonna put this one to the side. Oh, I hadn't touched this one either. <laughs> okay, for some reason I had the idea that I had touched one of them, but I guess not. Okay, so anyway, this is Wild Raffia. Look how pretty. And I'm just gonna swatch these. Dior shadows are just so buttery and they're thin when you put them on. Um, a lot of the times people like always talk about how pigmented shadows are and that's like their thing. I don't like a shadow that's really pigmented if that means that it's going to leave like thickness on my eyelid because I think that's really aging. Where am I gonna put these? I think that's gonna be a beautiful, like everyday wearable sh like shade. So pretty. And then I picked up Poncho, which again, a beautiful bronzy brown kind of palette right up my alley. And there's a really pretty sh shiny sparkle shade and then also like a really sort of brassy gold shade. Like, look how pretty. Kind of swatch them there, these two. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of this middle shade too, just to kind of dust over my lid. So I was excited about that. I keep saying I'm excited about it because I am. But I also need to pick these up more because around the holidays, I think I already showed them in a haul, but around the holidays, I'll show you really quick again. I picked up a couple of these Dior palettes and I haven't used them. Yeah, it's these. Haven't even used them. That one was Atelier Doré. And then this is like the more taupey version of that. And that one is House of Dreams. So yeah, I haven't hardly even touched those. I need to like pull them out when I'm doing my um, like monthly beauty bags or maybe like focus some videos around them or something because I love them and I just keep forgetting about them, but I keep buying them. Um, the last one I picked up is Grand Ball, Grand Ball, Grand Ball. And this one is really beautiful, shiny, opulent shades. And again, I haven't swatched 
this one yet either. So I'm gonna go in with some fingers here. Ooh, look at those two already. There they are on my fingers. I think I might be able to achieve that kind of wet look situation with that one. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on my lid. Ooh, that is really pretty. Okay, so if you're not subscribed and you would like to be in the like future giveaway situation, I'm not doing it in this video, but just subscribe, it'll pop up. I typically don't put giveaway in the description of the video because I don't want people just coming to my channel for a giveaway, but if you are here, I do giveaways um, every now and then. I'll like throw them in at the end of a video. So kind of look forward to that. Please subscribe. Um, anyway, I have lots more stuff to show you, so let's hop into it. I made an order through Clarence because I was kind of missing the Clarence bronzer. I had one a couple years ago and I got rid of it because it got old and they come out with like a different pattern every year. So I thought I would go ahead and pick it up and give it a try because I remember really liking it. Um, I did also get these Danessa Myricks cream dewy cheek and lip palettes so I got both of those um and this one looks really dark but it actually blends out beautifully on the cheeks I have messed around with them a little bit also I have a couple more bronzers this first one is from Rose Ink I've done a video talking about Rose Ink before and I will have that linked up here for you I did a full face when Rose Ink kind of first came out um, since I did that video though, they did come out with this and this and the highlight, which I do have the highlight around here somewhere too. Um, but I picked all of those up because I was curious about how this compared to the Chanel um, bronzer. And I really, I think she was really trying to make this a lot like the Chanel. I find them to be very similar, but also the reason I wanted to compare and see if it was similar to Chanel is because I feel like Rosie Huntington Whiteley um, really enjoys Chanel products. She made this essentially just like the Chanel. So this is a little bit less expensive um, and they are both the same size, one fluid ounce. So. If you were looking for an alternative to the Chanel, Rose Ink has it in that. I find them to be very similar. I have so many like <laughs> cream products here. Cream products are like where it's at for me. Um, okay, first I'm gonna talk about Drunk Elephant. I repurchased this because I was kind of looking for a tinted moisturizer SPF situation and I picked this up. I find that my skin is less volatile than it was last time I had this. Last time I had this, I felt like it broke me out and kind of like made my skin feel rashy. Um, I've used it a couple times since I have picked it up and I don't feel like that anymore. And then I also picked this up and this is their like blush drops. And I haven't heard anybody talk about this, but let me just tell you, this, I'm like running out of space. This gives the most natural, healthy flush ever. So there's a little bit there and spread it out on my hand. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. So I've really been enjoying this. I've heard literally nobody talk about it. I didn't even know it existed until I was in Ulta and I actually just saw it on the shelf. More cream blush options here. <laughs> so I picked this up because Alana Davison, um, it was a, originally a limited edition thing that she had come out with. And then I think they've made it now part of their permanent line. It's the shade Picante. I was not expecting this to be neon. And if it's not showing up neon in the camera, um, I don't know how to like, yeah, like it does, back there it does a little bit. This is neon, like, it's like a neon orange. It's a lot. 
What color doesn't look good on my lips right now? I cannot wear it alone. I have to mix it with sort of like um, sunburnt sorts of shades on the back of the cheek and then just use that as a pop towards the front. So usually I use it with another blush. I got these. Tarte brought back these sort of like gel cheek stain situations. There's exposed and flush. The one thing I was hoping they would have fixed when they brought these back is the bleeding of the formula and like the stain into the cap and on the side. Like it gets into your makeup bag, which is really unfortunate because it's a solid product, but the stain in it just kind of seeps from it. And I think same, yeah. So I, I have to put them upright and I cannot keep them in a makeup bag or take them with me. So that's unfortunate, but again, the colors are beautiful. They look beautiful on the cheeks. So there we go. So this is the shade Flush. And then Exposed is really pretty because look how light it looks in here, but the stain in it it looks gorgeous on the cheek. So there is that one. I gotta be careful where I put my arms. Okay. So then, speaking of cream blushes, um, I got two from Phytosurgeons because somebody that I'm friends with uh, here on YouTube and she has an Instagram, her name's Michelle. I will have her Instagram linked below in the description if you want to check her out. But she was talking about the Phytosurgeons line. I had never heard of them. I went and I checked them out and they're pretty affordable and they have really neat products. So I got this Skin Spark in the shade Smolder, which again, this is like a, I think like a, just a cheek product. You could probably use it on your lips too. Where's a good spot? So there is that. Um, I am swatching in the worst places. And then this one is in the shade Singe. And it's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. So I got those. But then I couldn't choose which eye product to go with. So they have cream eyeshadows in the same kind of pot and the colors all looked super interesting. And when I got them, a lot of them were kind of like leaning cool. Um, but this one is Magnetic Maple. And the formula on these, like you push it and it's like hard, but then you get into it and it's like just a nice sort of like thin formula. You can see the color on my finger. Do I need to swatch it? I'll swatch it. So there is Magnetic Maple. And then this one is called Deeply Rooted. And it's kind of like that blue-brown kind of shift. Is it blue or is it green? And it has like a ready, like warm undertone. And then I got Chilled Cherry. And there it is. And it's so interesting because it said cherry and I looked at it I'm like there's nothing cherry about that. But like the under, you can kind of see like the undertone, it really does kind of like change in the light it's in like once you spread it out it's really pretty um and then i got wild oak so mac discontinued my favorite paint pot which is called indian wood a long time ago and this is the closest thing i have ever gotten to indian wood it's like a beautiful kind of bronzy situation i put it on this hand so i'm gonna i'm like running in a Look how pretty that is. So this one's my absolute favorite, which is predictable because it's the most neutral. Um, but yeah, Wild Oak. And then the last one is Amber Aura. And it's just a really pretty sort of goldy orange, 
kind of shade and it's obviously like a here we go <laughs> that finger um it's like a shimmer situation why am i okay there we go and that's gonna be really pretty too i find that these kinds of shades i like to call them like um golden hour kind of shades like they almost have like a pinky golden sort of ambery hue to them um and they just remind me of like golden hour and so this would definitely be like a beautiful golden hour kind of shade all right so i need to hurry up and wrap this up i feel like this video is going to be super long and it's like not even informative i'm just showing you stuff i bought all right, so getting back into the whole sparkly eyeshadow theme, I saw ColourPop had this, and it's called Jelly Much Eyeshadow in the shade Mystical. So I picked this up. Here's the thing, I am looking for a wet eyeshadow that is like almost exactly my skin color. And so I haven't really been able to find that, but this I thought might be close. Let's get a lid on it, it's a mess. But let me get some out of the lid and I'll show you up close inside of the package. Also, I can't wait till my husband goes back to work and my daughter goes back to school because it's awkward to film when they're in the house. <laughs> I keep hearing people moving around so then I'm like, so I think this is the last sparkle shadow. I did get this from Chanel. I got it from Ulta. Um, and this is their Stylo Ombre Contour. And it's an eyeshadow liner, coal, you know, whatever. And so I thought I would try it out because I have not tried any of the Chanel sort of like cream shadows. And this... And there we go rubbed out it's not as cool but like straight on it's very very cool toned so i haven't actually used this yet i'm going to play around with it and let you guys know what i think um so then i have more bronzer <laughs> um so the first one is from tower 28 i've used it i really like it and this is their bronzino in west coast and there it is up close. You can see I've already like shoved a brush into it and I've used it. So it seems like it's like, you know, really like super sort of like glittery. But if your face is kind of already has a little bit of shine, I'm rubbing it in right there. You've already got some shine on your face, a little bit of glow, and then you just want to warm it up around the edges. This is actually quite pretty. So I got this because Alana Davison was always um, going on about this bronzer and this is the Lila B B Sunkissed bronzer. It's like a bronzing duo. The packaging is quite heavy and sturdy and I'm pretty sure it's refillable even though most refillable packaging has like a little hole for you to poke it through but this is metal. It's very sturdy um, and it feels like a little pebble in your hand. It just feels really nice. I don't know if I'm loving the color though, um, but I'm going to play around with it and see. And then I got a couple of things from Makeup by Mario. So I wanted this over the winter and it was always sold out and this is a highlight in pearl. So right now it's obviously too light for me because I have sun from kayaking and what have you, but I thought I would go ahead and pick it up. And while it seems like a sort of white highlighter, like when you look at it in the pan, it has like a golden peachy shift to it so i don't know if that's gonna pick it up anyway it has a golden peachy shift and i think i'm really gonna enjoy it in the winter but i do think it's just a little bit too light for me right now and then i did get their light medium soft sculpt bronzer so yeah the shade i got is light medium so i picked that up i picked all this up so tart had like a sale online which I feel like they always have sales but again it popped up I saw an ad and I was like I have not purchased from Tarte in a long time 
I'm gonna try out some of their, you know, new stuff. What's well, that? I guess it's new to me. I feel like this stuff though has probably been out for a while and that's why it was discounted. But anyway, I got this palette. It's called Clay Play and it's their face shaping palette. And it came with all these neutral eyeshadows plus it came with three bronzer shades. And then I was thinking to myself that this might be a better option than that Fenty palette that I recently purchased, which is their bronzer shades that you can use as eyeshadow. So I thought these were quite similar in the kinds of looks you would get or in the way you would use them. This mirror just literally showed you all the stuff sitting out here on my desk. Um, but this one leans a little bit more neutral and I would say this one's much warmer. So. I thought I'd play around with them, kind of compare them, but it's been a while since I've used Tarte eyeshadows. I don't think I have like any anymore. So I wanted to pick this up and I thought it might be handy. And they also had this, which is just eyeshadows, but they're like stacked. And so the bottom two roll out like this. And then the top one is like that. So you've got your sort of like warm, your rosy like mauvey tones, and then I would say these are kind of like neutral. So I thought those might be fun to play with as well. And then they had this little Tarte blush and bloom, and it comes with three of their blushes, and these are all matte, but I looked at the shades and I thought you've got like a nice sort of like neutral, like then like a healthy kind of like pink, and then this one's like a flushed berry. I feel like you could get a lot of mileage out of this. So anyway, that is everything I picked up. I'm sorry it wasn't more informative and I'm just like showing you what I got. Links to everything will be below if I can still find the stuff on the internet. I feel like I purchased some of this stuff like three months ago. It may not even be um, <laughs> available now. And just let me know what you want me to see me use in a video or what you're curious about. I'm thinking because I'm looking here at all these Dior palettes and that I think I will probably do the giveaway of the Dior palette that I got extra in a dedicated Dior Quint video. So I think I'm going to make one of those coming up. Um, but anyway, I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye. What are you doing to me?